It's just neat working with young men and, and watching them become knights and Christian gentlemen and you know, inviting them into an environment where they can become the man God created them to be. There's something neat that happens when you're a teacher and a priest that not only are you able to teach science, but they're also able to, to come to you with, with, with anything. You know, whether they're having problems you know, at home or with their girlfriend or whether they're celebrating something and they want to share that with you. You know, the ministry allows people to open up to you uh, and for you to be a part of their life. One of the joys is not only being with them in the classroom and getting to know them, but you know, they come back. They tell you about what their college experience is like. They come back and they want you to have their wedding and they come back and they want you to baptize their kids. You just get a, a special moment in their life and you develop wonderful relationships that are, that are life-giving for them and for you. You know, I'd known the Oblates since I was young. You know, I was at a parish, Father Oshevsky was there um, as one of the priests, and then I went to St. Francis, so I got to know a lot of Oblates um, in different roles. So I had Oblates, you know, as my chemistry teacher, my math, and in religion, and I just became very comfortable around them. Then I went to DeSales University, and once again, I had a similar experience. Um, I had oblates, you know, in the science department. Um, I had oblates teaching me not only theology, but um, also English. Um, and I got to know the guys very well. You know, they, they became my mentors. But I found that they were grounded people, and uh, they were just ordinary guys doing great things. And I saw how they interacted with one another, and they had this joy, and joy is attractive. And because of that, I was drawn to them. To live Jesus, for me, means to be intentional with what you're doing. Um, you know, we, we say that prayer, the direction of intention, in which I say, what I'm doing in this moment, God, it's directed towards you. That's to live Jesus. You know, whether it's, you know, teaching in the classroom or making a phone call to, to a prospective student, um, eating dinner, all that has a, has a direction. And that direction is towards God. For Francis, holiness was the, the, the perseverance and, and the faith and the hope that when you do fall, um, you stand back up. That's made all the difference in my life and how I work with myself and I work with others. When I talk with students, you know, oftentimes, you know, they'll say, Father, I just continue making the same mistake over and over and over and over again. And I think it's really good for them to hear that that's generally the case with people. But what holiness is for us, for them, for me, is the ability to say, I'm gonna try again. I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna lean more on Christ. I try to be a sacrament to people as much as they are a sacrament to me. That's what it means to live Jesus. You are a sacrament to others and they are a sacrament to you. They are this wonderful sign and instrument that God is present and God is with you. What's most rewarding is, you know, you fall in love. You fall in love with the people you're with you fall in love with God and you fall in love with the things that you do. That's what's most rewarding is you're able to receive and give love in this life. And I mean, that makes all the difference. That's why people give their lives to things. That's why people join the Oblates. It's because they fall in love with something. My name is Father Joe Newman. I'm an Oblate of St. Francis de Sales. And this is how I live Jesus.